Hi friends, today's video is about Arduino flight controller communicating with a secondary controller for additional sensory data. So I have been working on this Arduino flight controller, uh, which is basically extracted from Joe Brocking's tutorials on how to build an Arduino flight controller. So I have taken that entire project and I have modified upon as per my requirement. So finally I have come to a point where my single flight controller is unable to process additional sensory data. For example, I want I want to achieve altitude control. So uh, I am unable to do that by adding a ultrasonic sensor to the current controller. I'm using an ultrasonic sensor for that purpose. So I have planned, I came up with this to use a secondary Arduino board as an I2C sleeve device. So this is the drone that I've been working on. Uh, some of the flight videos I've already posted So right now my drone is working the basic flight is completely stable. So I wanted to add some more features like the Height hold altitude hold using this ultrasonic sensor over some um, limited height from the ground So you can see that is, this is the flight controller Which is based on an Arduino Nano and an MPU6050 And right now, I'm using this Arduino as a secondary flight controller. This Arduino, this Arduino over here, it is processing data from the ultrasonic sensor, which is here. You can see this is the ultrasonic sensor. Underneath the drone. It is under the drone. So this secondary Arduino board is processing the data from the Saltron sensor. And then it is sending the data over I2C via this connection over to the primary light controller board. So I plan to basically I have built I have built a secondary flight controller, properly built one. So I will be using this and I will be mounting this underneath the flight, uh, the primary controller underneath under this and this will have the added capabilities of catering to the sensors such as the BMP280 which is a barometric pressure sensor also uh, also uh, right now I will be working on trying to work on this only using the ultrasonic height sensor and then finally my goal is to achieve a GPS hold so all, all, all of this GPS hold, the height hold and barometric pressure sensor will be handled by the secondary flight controller. So I'll just show you, we'll just start with some data. So uh, if you can see on the screen, there are two serial monitors. So the serial monitor with the name COM13 
is the data which is being generated by the primary flight controller. That is the basic flight controller, which is doing all the flight ca stability calculations, the PID, the gyroscope data, which is also communicating with the MPU 6050 via I2C. And this, this controller is also communicating with the secondary Arduino board, which is acting like a slave, slave device here. So now on the right hand side, if you see this for serial terminal this COM10, communication port 10. So you can see some data. So this data is a height or distance data. So I'm using the secondary board, it is a uh, secondary Arduino board to process data from a ultrasonic sensor. And this data is being sent to the primary flight controller via I2C. So here you can see two graphs in this COM13. One of these is, is the high data or which or I can also refer it to as the altitude data and the other is the roll angle data. The blue, blue line is the roll angle data and the red line is the height data. So I will just make some movements on the drone. So I am lifting the drone right now. So you can see the height increasing. So this data from the secondary Arduino board is being transferred to the flight controller. Also, the other graph in the left serial terminal is a roll data. I can show you that. So this is a roll data. So basically, I want to tell that my flight controller is able to communicate with the MPU 6050 for the angle data or the angular velocities. And also it is parallelly communicating with the secondary Arduino board for the high data. So my plan is basically to increase the capabilities of this Arduino flight controller by adding a secondary uh, secondary flight controller or a secondary Arduino board which will work in tandem with the primary board. So I'll just show you quickly the code which is running. So this is the only code which, which reads from the slave Arduino board. It just sends a wire dot request, wire dot request from to the slave address Arduino, which is numbered eight. And then this data is fed to the variable distance. And similarly on the secondary board, that is a secondary Arduino, all I have to do is uh, create this request event wire dot write and enter the value that is a distance value which is already calculated in different in different part of the code and then this is sent over to the master controller. This is the code which generates a distance data. I'm using a very simple example, uh, a very simple sketch which I got from the Arduino forum. So that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a nice day.